boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's like 10 o'clock. I'm gonna be cooking out of this uh, 1001 slow cooker recipes. It's a simple one. Make believe lasagna. We're gonna make believe we're having lasagna. This is gonna be great. Now to start this recipe out, we're gonna mince an onion. How you mince an onion? Well, I know you guys probably don't understand this complex cookery. You know, wacky ends off of that and get rid of all that outside paper they put on at the onion factory. You get one of these things right here. See this thing right here. See it? <laughs> you do. And you put these little hunks of onion in there. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. That was a fairly small onion, so we're going to do two onions. I just got onion shot right in my eyeball. Exploded on me. Ah. I got that stuff full, but it won't be that big once I'm done. All right, and you want to get out the old electric skillet, turn her up to about 350. I only give her about two minutes to preheat. Throw in my uh, ground beef. This is one pound of ground beef, and you get it. I like to get it good and. Uh, it says it says to throw the, the beef and the, and the onions in at the same time, but I like to get my beef a little, a little more brown than my onions. You know what I mean? So we're going to get the beef well on its way to being brown, and then we're going to. Throw in the onion. Very nice, isn't it? Oh yeah. Okay, um, the recipe that I have here doesn't say to drain the hamburger, uh, but I went ahead and drained it because you know I don't mind all greasy as hell, you know. Then we're gonna throw in about a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. We're gonna throw in. About a tablespoon of oregano. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna add some of this mids Italian sausage and pepper. Uh, it just says uh, pasta sauce, but you know mids is the best thing you can get, and I love the taste of Italian sausage and peppers. Uh, you can get anything in mids, any taste you you want. It says to put 18 ounces in. This is a 32 ounce thing, so. I put a little more than half in there. All right. Then it says just get it warm. That's the fun part where we get to use the slow cooker or crock pot as we call it. You take a little bit, you know. Put a little bit in there. Take a little bit of that crap that you've made up. Not too much. You just want to, basically, you're like greasing it with the meat sauce and stuff. Just kind of 
yeah, you know, slop it up. Okay, so then you put your noodles on top. Now, see, these are hard noodles. They're, see that? They're hard noodles. They're not boiled. And that's, oh, that's what I thought I'd love about this recipe, and so far I do. <laughs> we want to put in some of this ricotta cheese. The recipe calls for cottage cheese, but I didn't want to throw up today. So, uh, ricotta cheese it is. We're going to put some of that on there. good bit because that really is what makes lasagna lasagna if you ask me is the ricotta cheese yep of course you didn't ask me did you well too bad and it doesn't have to be all neat you know but we are just make believing right we're going to put some more of this uh, sauce on about half of your meat sauce that you have left over put it on there what the instructions say. Okay, like that. Of course, this is lasagna, so you want cheeses. Oh boy, do you ever want cheeses. We're going to go with Parmesan. Five ounce bag of Parmesan, so we're going to put about half of it on, two and a half ounces. I like to, let's go a little more. I like to have a little more in the middle than on the top with the Parmesan, that's just me. And we're gonna, and that's course shredded, you can see. And then we got the Sargento's uh, mozzarella. This is an eight ounce bag, and that feels like about eight ounces. And so let's put a good bit on there. Yeah. About like so-so. Okay. Yeah, then what you think is going to be next? Then get your noodles back out. I noticed in the middle, I can fit one noodle pretty good. Yeah, just put your noodle there. Oh, about like so. Yeah, get in there. We want them pretty, you know, laid out so we don't have big hard spots with noodles in it. But, you know, just, yeah. remember, we're just imagining. This is just imagination stuff. Okay. So, now, this time, I'm going to go with just a little bit of meat sauce. That's just because it's me. This is how I do it. The meat sauce helps hold the noodles in place. Then we're going to take a bunch more of this ricotta. Uh, just like the Italians like it. That, that's probably a terrible Italian accent, isn't it? <laughs> Me and my friend Luigi, we like the lasagna. Italiano. Italiano. Okay. And you want your Parmesan. You won't, You don't ever want to put your Parmesan on the top. That's, a, that's something I learned uh, back when I was Italiano. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to put the parmesan down. Now we're going to cover it with meat. This is slightly out of order from what the same calls for, so I hope I'm not screwing it up. But this is kind of like I like to do my lasagna too. Sort of a mix between what the instruction says and what my stubborn ass wants to do. Okay, there we go. Then your mozzarella on the top, you want to go crazy with it. Crazy with the mozzarella. Try to spread it all everywhere. Wish I had more of it. All right, finally you want to cover this mess. And uh, my cooker is over here. We want to cook for six to eight hours on low. And I suppose we'll let uh, John and Keaton and my, my, myself uh, taste test this and tell you if this is a recipe you might want to make at home or not. Well, what do you think about that lasagna recipe? Hey, that's pretty good. All right. I like it, too. There it is. There's a big hunk of it. Oh, that's just grimy. Ah.
Give us a grimy chew to that. It's kind of hot. I just can't shove it in my mouth. Oh, for crime when he's sick. Now, what do you think, Keaton? I don't like it. He don't he, like he it. He don't like any good food. He says uh, it stinks. You know how you get this? First, you have to have a job other than Pug One. <laughs> so you have money. Now, now, now. Let's be nice to our neighbors. Uh, all right. Well, uh... We just want to let you know it does work. If you guys want to try it at home, I suppose it's probably safe. Alrighty, we'll see you guys around.